Before the automobile, a simple crossbuck sufficed to warn carriage drivers and pedestrians to watch for oncoming trains. At busier crossings, a flagman swung a lantern side to side as a signal to stop for oncoming rail traffic. As automobile speeds and traffic volume increased, conflicts were inevitable. An automatic warning device was needed to mimic the motion of the swinging lantern. Hence, the wigwag signal was born. Also known as a magnetic flagman, the wigwag incorporated a red light, a moving disc on a pendulum, and an audible gong to gain the attention of early automobile drivers. The wigwag type signal was developed by, and first used on, the Pacific Electric Railway in Southern California in 1910. The red cars of Henry Huntington's Pacific Electric had provided interurban light rail service since 1901. With over 1,000 miles of standard gauge track, the Pacific Electric connected cities in Los Angeles, Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange counties until the railway's demise in 1961. The magnetic wigwag signal has no motors or gears, but is controlled by two sets of magnets. When energized, the magnets pull an armature from one side to the other, causing the warning disc to swing and the gong to sound. Magnetic wigwag signals gained wide popularity, first on the Pacific Electric, then on the vast Southern Pacific Railroad system. Wigwags were later adopted by passenger and freight railroads throughout the nation. This signal began operating on Santa Ana Street sometime before 1949. The pedestal is marked U.S. Railroad Supply Company, Chicago, while the gong housing is labeled Magnetic Signal Company, Los Angeles. Orange County's last surviving wigwag signal still operates at milepost 510.1 on the Union Pacific Line. Automobile traffic lanes parallel the tracks along Santa Ana Street. However, pedestrians and cross traffic must stop for the wigwag signal when the train approaches Lemon Street in the city of Anaheim. By 1949, new grade crossing signal rules rendered wigwag signals obsolete. Modern gates, flashing lights, and electronic bells have replaced most of the wigwag signals in the United States. This wigwag still operates daily as of May 2015. However, no one knows how many more trains will pass by the last magnetic flagman before Orange County's final wigwag signal is gone forever. Thank you.